Welcome back, everyone. We have a different setting today. What's going on? We're outside. Oh, <laughs> it's a very nice day. It is a little bit hot, but now that it's later on in the day, it's actually kind of nice. So mm -hmm. we thought we would try our question and answer session of Game of Thrones season one and two out here. So I didn't go over really any questions with mom and my sister yet. So we are just going to go right into it. I wrote down all the questions that I could find through my channel, um, just, you know, uh, simple questions, some a little bit more um, complex, but we'll, you know, probably just keep it basic, but I don't want to in intimidate anyone. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, you know, just because we love all of you so much. We always love the comments like we always say, and and I'm, I'm so happy you all are very interactive with us, and hopefully I'm not shouting too much. I just feel like I have to. And uh, so, yeah, so let's get right into it. So first question is kind of obvious. Of course, there's a number on it, but uh, who are your three favorite male characters and why? And I'm going to start with Mom. Okay, I, I say Ned Stark. Ah, he's, Ned Stark, that's a good one. Yes, he's a very good family man and he's compassionate with his family. We kind of grew to really love him and, and yes. he's, a, he's very kind, like you said. He really wants to take care of his family and protect his family. My second character is Jon Snow. He's a really good person and, and he likes his family too and he wants to take care of them and watch out for them. Who's your third guy? Tyrion. I think he's just a strong-hearted person. I feel sorry for him because of the way his father has treated him and his father can't stand him. Yeah. And his family is really mixed up. Poor Tyrion, I know. <laughs> so. It's always the good. The good always yeah. uh, gets tormented in this series, yeah, it seems like. All right. Sorry, no. <laughs> how about you? Can <laughs> you can put down, okay. sister. My three favorite <laughs> guys, well... Jon Snow, just because he's kind of like his dad. Well, I think he has eyeballs for Egret. Yeah, Egret. <laughs> and then he totally got sucked into, you know, getting captured. But he really talked himself out of, mm -hmm. you know, that situation. Yeah. You know, I really thought he was going to get... Yeah. yeah. But, uh... Yeah. I was scared, too. No. Yeah. When I first saw it, I was scared. And Tyrion, because he is... Yes, he's a Lannister, but, you know, he's different. Mm -hmm. His sister hates him, wanted him killed... You know, his father is just going with the flow because he has the same last name, mm -hmm. you know. It's all about titles and keeping right. the family but I, name But I love going. his relationship with Shay. I love her. Okay, good. With, yeah, I great. love that, she's you know, great. he has that, that comedic part of him yeah. that yeah. comes out with her. And um, Bron, is it? Yes, Bron. Bron. He's a sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My third guy, I like Rob. Stark. Mm -hmm. He's really showing and proving that he's a leader. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got to do what he's got to do with his mom. Yeah. You know, I feel that's badly. hard. I mean, yeah. he's being good to her. She decided to let him go mm -hmm. on emotion. And he is the king, and family's so important. They're, they're in war, and uh, if, if anyone betrays him, and she totally betrayed him, and we understand why, especially being a mother, you know, it's like you oh, want to yeah. make sure your kids are good and, and safe, and, and you, you'll do anything sure. there. So, um, that's a, I can't believe how hard of a decision that is, you know? Yeah. Next is, who are your three favorite female characters? I'm going to start with Brienne. I absolutely love her. And I love her devotion for yeah. Kat. I mean, even though, you know, she did what she did in the woods and, and took care of those three Stark guys. And, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, she buried the women and she... Yes. Still does not gag darn Jamie. He just keeps going on and on and on. And, you know, she, he's almost entertaining to her. I don't know. Yeah. But I like her. I yeah. like her courage and her, you know, stamina to stay, her, stay her ground. And I love Arya. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, she really got herself out of a pickle with that guy in the woods, you know, with his, his yeah. men and her two friends. And yeah. she got them, uh, I think she saved them from being goners too yeah right. and the third lady i like is marjorie oh yes, that's a good one. good one yeah i like her i like her relationship with her grandmother yeah mm -hmm. okay um but i like that she's quick with the tongue too yes. she i thought yeah. that joffrey was going to shoot her with that yeah arrow thing as, as, as you can tell <laughs> and as you can tell which will be up shortly too um in the next couple days or so because every two days or so i try to put up a video we actually did start season three already we wanted to do the q a earlier this week but it just um didn't end up being like that and we decided just to continue with season three because we were curious on what was going to happen with the white walkers ah <laughs> i'll jump in and, and just say that i have some favorites too from the first and second season my favorite is actually <laughs> was ned stark again like mom 
Tom said, he's very compassionate and caring, and he's a great leader, but he's very modest and never actually wanted to have that leadership. He didn't want to be handed the king. He would do anything to keep his family safe, and he's just very kind-hearted, a great dad, a great friend, and very loyal. Anyway, so um, Ned Stark, and then my second is Jon Snow. Love Jon Snow. Same as his father. Strong-willed, brave, innocent. He just wants to do well with his brothers of the Watch, and with his family, and all-around good guy. And handsome. (laughs) And then Tyrion, of course. So I, I love Tyrion. At first, I was very iffy about him. I wasn't sure if he was really a good guy. Um, he's extremely intelligent. I love his uh, wordplay his with wit, a bunch of the yeah. characters. His wit is awesome. He has a good sense of humor and he knows how to play the game very well, which is awesome. Female characters, I, I would have to say hands down, my, my first favorite female character is Khaleesi, Daenerys, Stormborn, yes, slash Targaryen, you know. Um, I love the idea of how she's growing, how meek and nice and innocent she was in the beginning, and now married to um, Cal Drogo and just all the experience that she's gained so far and the traumatic things she's been through. She's really learning how to become a leader and she is getting very well respected and again she has three really cool dragons. Second one, I don't know if like my, my second favorite or so but close like Sansa. Yeah, I just feel bad for her and She's in the beginning meek. yeah and in the beginning she was very um, bratty you know and spoiled mm-hmm. and then now getting thrown into this whole turmoil at King's Landing and away from her family and it's just I always feel for her when I see her and I just feel bad and, and she's really turning in and she's always been a good person but now she's really seeing how actual medieval life can be and she's really the character development for her is pretty amazing. Brienne is also one. I'm running out of light too. I gotta go faster. But I do really like Arya as well. Arya, I just love her storyline so far. She is a spitfire. She's just so much fun to watch. You you can tell that she can hold her own. I totally agree with you on the three of them. Yay! Thank you. High five. (laughs) So who do you want to succeed? I I want Tyrion to succeed. Ah, okay, yeah. that's a good I don't want him to get some castle. And I really don't want him to be under the Lannisters, <laughs> per se. I okay. don't know how I would want him to succeed, mm-hmm. but I want him to succeed in his own way. Yeah. Or at least be with Shay. Even his own house tried to, they were always trying to betray him because they don't have any respect for him and everything. Mm-hmm. Just because he yeah. has a name, they just keep him around. They even tried to kill him during the battle that oh, he yeah. actually yeah. succeeded in and led everyone, and they tried to kill him on the battlefield. So not mm-hmm. cool. So yeah, I would, so I would definitely like yeah. see him succeed too. So mom, do you have anybody? Daenerys. She's doing so well right now. Dragon power. <laughs> yeah, dragon power. There's dragons for sure. <laughs> so no, that's good. Okay, that's cool. Good. So we'll jump into the next one. Who do you dislike the most? Now I'm going to start with you. mom. I can tell you I can't stand him. Joffrey. <laughs> King he Joffrey. Is really Same with a me. Spoiled yeah. Rat. Yeah. Sicko, that's all I can tell you. I know there's going to be, you know, there's always going to be characters we're not going to like, but yeah, he's definitely yeah, I, he's numero gotta uno go. one. He's got to yeah. go. <laughs> So, okay, so that, no, that makes perfect sense, and I'm there too, and I know I'm jumping ahead. I'm not tr- going to try to answer a lot of questions, uh, just because, again, I've seen it with all of you, so, um, but at one point, if you do want me to answer certain questions that are specific for me, then I, I totally will, as long as they're not spoiled. <laughs> so, okay, so who would you follow in the series, and why? I'll start this one, because it sounds kind of strange, mm-hmm. and this is um, kind of funny, because I was going to... Well, I'm going to joke and say I would follow Daenerys because I'm a wuss like I am kind of I'm a strong person I'm a kind hearted person but I want to follow her because she's just very uh, successful loving and I always just have a positive feeling around her no, when I'm too. watching the show so yeah, like, for safety purposes oh, yeah, too, I kind of yeah. like that that yeah, you know you that girl. way about <laughs> and I do also love um, the Starks as well because it just it just reminds me of our family because they're so good together and social and fun and and they care about each other and stuff so but I, w- I would I would definitely say Daenerys just because yeah, um, I agree with yeah because she's just a great leader and, and I'm just a wuss <laughs> oh, yeah, <you> <laughs> no as long as your dragons aren't trying to eat me I'm good <laughs> we're two wusses then <laughs> so mom you say you say Daenerys, Daenerys too yeah, okay and what about you Ken I'm going to say Rob Stark yeah, 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 see yeah, the so Starks, see? I, see yeah. We're like the Starks. Yeah, I, like, I like Rob Stark. I yeah. like, yeah, his, I like the way too. he's I forming like his army and he's, you know, yeah, good. Mm-hmm. he went against what he was supposed to do and he married, what's yeah. her name? Um, uh, T- Talisa? I don't know if I'm saying nice, that. Talisa? Nice nurse. Talisa? Yeah. Talisa? You know, and I, 
I, I think I would follow him. Mm -hmm. well, that's a good one. I like that. Yes. I would actually do that too. Best emotional scene, good or bad. I'm just going to stare Is at you it? both awkwardly. I'll tell you one. I was like gone. I mean, I was hiding. I, I every was time there was a scene the or going like this because it was a nudie scene. Or I had going to, like that to my okay, mother. Okay, I'm gonna. Or I had to pillow up, and I, you know, I, I mean, it was really sad I, I, when when Bran. What I thought mm -hmm. they were oh. burned, and you know, I, oh, I, yes. when the Stark boys, what I thought were hanged, yeah, and burned. Burned it. <gasps> that was a very that emotional thing because I think we're actually That's crying because I, I saw like yes. some like tears going, oh, you know, I and I was like, oh, something in my eye. <laughs> it's yeah, something in your eye. Know. <laughs> so I know because we're all so compassionate, and I know it's so frustrating when we run away, and I say we because oh. we're just going to say it in a general way. And so. also, but I get freaked out too by stuff. And also when Jamie pushed Bran out the window. Yeah. Like oh yeah. 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 No, that's actually yeah. Really. Yeah. And so the sad. very first one, because I'm going to actually intertwine these questions, but the one that says the saddest moment so far and the scariest moment so far, <laughs> and I think scariest moment, so because it. they had no idea what to expect through Game of Thrones. They don't know anything about it, but they did hear a few things in the, oh, from for a while now, because the show's been out for a while, that everyone you love will die. It's a horrific show, and it's very <laughs> violent. So they all, that's why they freak out, and they think everyone's going to die, because you never know who's going to get killed off. And, it, and it's always there's always twists and turns, and you're always surprised. Not always surprised, but sometimes you're shockingly surprised. So that's why they think like that. And I crack up, because that first episode we watched where the guy... <laughs> You know, is 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 passed away, and he's just laying down with it with the um, stones on his eyes, with the eye stones. And Kim <laughs> freaked out. That his eyes are full of magic. I thought so too. That's yeah, why yeah, it was like the most scariest moment ever. I think, We're but not used to that. That killed things. me. I was like, yeah. oh, this is going to be good. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. But yeah, saddest moment: Bran falling, yeah, the poor Starks. You know, and you know, and Ned, Ned, you know. When he was beheaded, yes, yes, that, that was, was like the worst thing the ever. Oh, I was so upset. I was in such denial. Yeah, that such denial. So like, I could not believe it. I was actually running out the room the first time mm -hmm. I saw it. And I'm like, I can't believe that. That actually happened. That was a dream. Bran dreamt that. He thought that was going to happen. It didn't happen. It's going to change. Like, I didn't yes. think like, he would actually kill off the main character. So it kind of really sucked. And Okay, and so. And then when they went in to kill all the babies and things. Oh, oh yeah. that's horrible. That was horrible. When you yeah. think about it. That was, that yeah. Was, that that was, was the one that actually, um, yeah, now that we're really recalling it, yeah, like that yeah. actually made us feel horrible. Well, you know, to the point where I didn't yeah. think you'd be able to watch anymore, yeah. you know? It's just the idea. So, and that's when I was like, it's not real, it's not real. There are real babies. Ah. But no, that was, that was so messed up and sad. It was. Okay, so yes, that's actually a good one. The whole battle, I guess, of Blackwater. It was dark. Talk. We couldn't really so see was, what was really. It was great fun. for wimps no, like us. Yeah, 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 they stayed on the sofa really well, and, it was all and green everyone and was <laughs> worried about people dying. But um, but just because it was dark and everything, yeah. it was actually not so bad because you don't see all the gore and everything. Mm -hmm. So favorite story arc. Well, I, I like the Lannisters, story. even though I can't stand. That's actually a good one. Okay, it's a really, it's very interesting. There's all these mind games. That's what I like. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. I, do, I don't like it. It's I'm I'm an edge when I'm watching it, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the mind games. Yes, that, mind yeah, games. yeah, yeah. I can see that. They're, they're fun. Sure. They're intriguing to watch because you never know where that's going to go, and the wordplay's fun. And also about Daenerys with all her, her three dragons, mm -hmm. and on there, they're starting to get bigger and bigger. Whoa, and that's crazy! crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and they had a fish fry like this. I, I know. Yeah, <laughs> they know how to cook their own meat. Yeah. Is Stannis the rightful king? Yes or definitely yes. So I'm assuming this question means definitely. yes, as in just by right, or definitely yes because you think he'd be a great leader. I think that's what that means. Okay, I think yes, yeah, but I'm sure. really worried about this red lady mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because so, so I know think... he's going to take a lot of her advice, mm -hmm. and I'm very worried about that. If that yeah, happens, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Faster. When you say yes, do you think because by right, or by do you right. think he'd be by a good right. leader? Do you think right. by right mainly? By yeah. right, because because yeah. he has the brother. He's Robert's right. brother. I think so too. I think it's just by right. That Lord of Light. Mm -hmm. Not quite sure about that. I always, honestly, I never really cared for for him since the beginning, <laughs> and I always thought that the Red but, Woman was, uh, you know, brainwashing him, and I just didn't like the whole idea, and I thought she was the devil. So 
but I didn't really care for him. So I didn't. I would say new. So we have our <laughs> wonderful puppy Atlas. That's um, my brother and sister in law's. Uh, yes, he's puppy, another dire, the husky. dire wolf. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's a dire, dire wolf. He's our he's version our dire of dire wolf. wolf. And yes. my little dire wolf is here. My little <laughs> schnauzer mix. <laughs> <laughs> we are running out of lights. I'm going to make sure that I'm still recording. <laughs> oh, yeah. sure. Hopefully you can see me a little bit better. I don't know if I was cut off before or not. Hopefully okay. not. So let's see. Who would you choose to fight for you in a trial by combat? That's a good one. Braun or the hound? The wow. hound. You want to go with the hound? Def definitely, yes. Yeah? He's, yeah, he just, oh. he's scary looking, but he's, you can tell he's, he's kind of... Well, he is scary looking. <laughs> he is, so and I feel bad by saying that because I, I do kind of like him too. <laughs> but you can tell he's, he's, I'm getting to understand that he is kind hearted. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so, yeah. You know, yeah. And I think just his looks alone could win a fight. You know, poor yeah, guy. Right. And he's so That's big sure. yeah. and he's just so intimidating he that scary. I'd be like, all right, yeah. you win. Yeah. Unless it's, you know, your life at hand. But for me, those die afraid. And he knows. comes on real strong, Harry. So. He does. And what do you think, sis? I would go with anyone, Bron or Hound. But I'm going to pick Bron before. Okay, Hound yeah. Because I like both. Bron's the Hound awesome. Hound really mm -hmm. just screwed over Arya by telling on her. Yeah, she was leaving the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, season three. Like I said, we season did start three. that. So you like, you like I'm Bron? thinking Bron only because well, he only works for money. Yeah, he really is not. I mean, mm -hmm. I think he sticks around with Tyrion because you know they make a good team. But I think some if, bonding. Uh, but I know <laughs> mainly money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> money. Yeah. Like Tyrion hopes so. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Bron. Yeah, and Bron already did it once for Tyrion, so yeah. it was a pretty right. good battle. So mm -hmm. and he's funny. And he's yeah. quick, That's right. so I can see that. I probably would say Bron too. I honestly didn't even like rehearse this because I, I, I never really gave it thought. But the reason why I would choose Bron is because, again, I know he's in it for the money. But the Hound, um, if there was fire, God forbid, in the combat, oh, right. I didn't that's even think of that till just now. Like that that's would be right. that would be um, very intimidating because then he'd be like, "F this, I'm getting out of here." Mm -hmm. He doesn't seem to really be personal, care about people. So if he really just didn't care, he'd just walk off. So yeah. Bron seems to stay in it for the money, and um, and he's kind of entertaining and and good sense of humor. So I I pick Bron. What do you think of Sansa turning down the Hound's offer towards the end? End of the Blackwater episode. It's hard because if she, she well, how did you feel? If Joffrey yeah. Bond finds her, he's going to have something, be her beheaded or something. Yeah, yeah. I would want. I would. But then, that, what's going to happen to her if she stays? So, so what would you take like? a chance yeah. and have, go? And know? go? Yeah. yeah. I wish she kind of went mm -hmm. because yeah, I think so. you know she's probably like kind of saying there. <laughs> she's probably yeah. saying to herself, oh. Mm -hmm. You know, what do I have to lose? That was fearful for me, too, because I was telling her to go, 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 go. Just go with him because your life sucks here. And mm -hmm. if, if you're Jeffrey's toy, it's it's not going to be good because you're walking on eggshells the whole time. The queen doesn't seem to like you at all. So no, they're looking for any kind of reason to, you know. If your family had a house sigil, what would it be and why? Dire wolf. <laughs> but, out, of, out of the Game of Thrones? Um, I think they mean our own, but... Um, if we had a house sigil, um, you know, I, I, I could definitely see us being more like the Starks. Um, so I would say a dire wolf if we're, yeah. if we're staying in that realm. But if not, then I will go out of my way to be really nerdy and say we would have a saber tooth cat because yeah, they're awesome nice. looking yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and they're powerful sure. and they have weapons already intact for stabbies. Yeah, um, but they true. are, um, not that I even really, so. you know, because from what I've read and stuff, that saber tooth cats are like lions and they are part, they're not saber tooth tigers, um, and they are part of a pride and so they're strong, they have family connections, and they are very successful when they're hunting and stuff. Okay. So I think we'd be saber tooth cats. Do you have any other? No, let's just go with that. Yeah, okay, that we'll, we'll just go with that. that sounds good. <laughs> totally go with John. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think should sit on the Iron Throne? I think that's a good one. Either Daenerys or Rob Stark. I yeah. think I but I would choose Daenerys with her dragons. And it, that's a good one. Okay. And I like what she said. Also, I don't know if you can if that picked up in the camera or not. But who else did you say? Rob Stark. Yeah, Rob Stark. Okay, yeah, because yeah, uh, they're they're good leaders and yeah, caring people. It's good stronghold caring. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and sister. And I was going to say Daenerys, too. Okay. Just because that was her father's original. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, and even though Stannis from Robert. Yeah. I mean, but 
her father is the original, even though he was Mad King. Yeah. And so I think by right, um, you know, that it, it is true. And again, I'm just speaking. Oh, hello. Who is the gentleman that keeps wandering in the background? And that's our dad. Because <laughs> we go over mom and dad's house because it's just quieter. Whenever we're over my house, it's just there's always a lot of people over. And I just want to make it more convenient. So... So dad tries to like come in now and again, and he's always curious what we're doing. It's pretty funny. So if you ever see anyone lingering in the background to hear another voice, that's our dad. Yeah, especially in the beauty <laughs> pictures. Oh my god! Yeah, scenes, yeah. The sex just, scene stuff. So he's like, he acts like, what? and he has like all like all <laughs> funny about it. It's tears. hilarious, and he freaks out sometimes. It runs away. It's it's so funny. Okay, it's getting dark. So all right. So I kind of wanted uh, Daenerys to be on the Iron Throne, and I also did want Rob Stark. So I thought that was kind of. Yeah fun how you said that. Tyrion would be awesome on the Iron Throne, but I just can't see that happening yeah. at all, just because of how his family is and everything. A lot of things would have to change for That's him. That's for sure. Yes, definitely not Joffrey. He has to get off the thing. <gasps> oh my gosh. He has to get off. <laughs> Any predictions <clears throat> for the storyline for season three? Well, I think Daenerys <laughs> is finally going to get her um, army together. Okay, well, that'll be cool. Yeah. Get a couple ships. Oop, okay. Head on over. Rob, I'm not sure. And Jamie and Brienne, I don't know if Jamie's ever yeah get away from that woman. <laughs> I know, he needs that gag, he needs that gag. I know. So that's going to be interesting to yeah. see. Actually, you know what, I'm going to jump right to that question now. What do you think of Brienne and Jamie's interactions? Are you curious or are you worried about the journey thus far? I'm curious. Yeah. I'm not worried yeah. so much. I mean, he wants a manipulator. Yeah. Dun dun dun! But I love I love Brian and yeah. Brian, yeah. and yeah, I keep I keep laughing. Here. I know, <laughs> but I awesome. you know mm-hmm. once they made it in the boat right off the bat, mm-hmm. and I thought she was going to be sunk, you know, with yeah, all her right. armor, her rusty <laughs> armor, and then she made they're it. fine, and they, you know they had their little battle, and they have you know yeah. Oh, the battle was hilarious in the, the beginning oh of season goodness, three. Oh right. my god! And just I forgot how that went. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But and I, I don't know. I think they're, I I think they're going to be lot, like so good buddies. Time. Yeah. Somehow. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, we're not know. good buddies, but like they like to maybe but respect each a, other or something. Yeah. Maybe. I think they'll have a mutual respect. But then, it is kind of entertaining to watch, though. One can never tell, you know, what's going on. One can never tell. You know, Jamie Kingslayer stabbed the king in the back. The old king. Throw her off. Any concern for the White Walkers? Ah, zombies! Oh, that we have dragons. And I'm like really worried about Sam. Hello. Yeah. No, and his Sam. I, yeah. I totally thought like he's he's done. You yeah. know. Yeah. So poor poor yeah. Sam. Okay. So, hmm. what do you think of the acting in the series? Awesome, because we all freak out. That's right. <laughs> They're doing very yeah. well. Yeah. So I think it's very good. real. Very good. They're very good at that. So. Very good acting very brief we're going to talk about the reigns of Castamere and they're going to be like what is that so when we watched the black water at the ending credits um they had the song playing which is the reigns of Castamere and I found out some good trivia where it's awesome thank you again for sharing that the actor who plays Bronn is part of a band or was part of a band and he actually is a singer so he actually um, sang part of it in the end, in the beginning of Blackwater. Well, you know, he's like, they're all drinking. Mm-hmm. And yeah. He has that lovely lady hanging out with him. Yeah. <laughs> so, the you know, came. when they had yeah. that conflict with the hound. Mm-hmm. And he's singing part of that song. And you'll hear that song throughout the series. So um, I didn't realize how popular it was. Like, I've heard it a few times, of course, but I didn't really pay that much attention to it. So um, the Reigns of Castamere... We, you know, I'll have to have you listen to the lyrics and, we'll, and maybe we can chat about that on, on another video so we, you guys can learn more of the meaning about it. But they played it at the end of the Blackwater, oh. so it's kind of considered considered um, a Lannister song because they talk about a lion and stuff like that. So, but yeah, so um, very, very powerful though because, yeah, so and dot dot dot, I just won't say anything else. <laughs> so that will come okay, up in future okay. episodes. So, what does that mean? Um, Should we have to prepare to duck when we hear this song? In future episodes, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh! <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. So, but I'll I'll play that song for you so you guys like remember it more, and and then so that way you'll always like know what it sounds like because it'll come in handy later on because then you'll be like ah, you'll never come back in the room. <laughs> okay, so it's getting so long. It's getting so dark. Which characters would you say have changed your opinion of them since season one, and how have your perceptions of them changed? Tyrion. Okay. From from that, well, not real. I didn't know how he was at first, but. That he's more or less bad, and now he's good. Yeah, he's gone towards good. He's yeah, gone, you know. Yeah, I agree. And, but I have um, Cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she seems so strong. Mm-hmm. 
And now, I don't know if it's because know, her like, whole family is separated. Mm -hmm. She is just, she was desperate for, to do anything she can to get her family back. And I think that's why she let Jamie go. Yeah. Well, that's what she wanted to do. Right. Go. So, I think she's changed from really being strong. brave mm -hmm. to just... Eager and desperate. Desperate. Yeah. Just yeah, I can see that too. That's actually really good. Yeah, I'll say that I, I was impressed by uh, Theon and very disappointed in Theon mm -hmm. because I feel bad for him because he always wanted to have a place with the Starks and he always wants to um, be better by them. And when he was with Rob, he swore an oath to Rob, King of the North. Mm -hmm. Then wants to, you know, tries to help him out and then wants his fatherly love, which I can't imagine how hard that must be. So he just betrayed everyone and willing to kill his own adopted family, which really sucks. So um, that's really sad how that turned out. So that's my that's a good opinion, point. you know. So what do you think of Mr. George R. R. Martin? I think he is a very talented man, and I thank him greatly for the books and the show. So I haven't read the books. Very talented nonetheless. So we enjoy the series. It's very realistic. It has a lot of fantasy and sci-fi in it, but it's it's very impressive, and um, you really get pulled in. So thank you for that, George. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Mr. Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying the show so far, despite the violence and the nudity? You seem to, but it's hard to tell if you're enjoying it or not. <laughs> I'm more of an SNL see. kind of person, comedy. Yeah. yeah. But but okay. so far, but I, I, I am roped in now. <laughs> <laughs> when are we meeting again? That's right. <laughs> it's so dark. Ah! We've been having a lot of picnics, and we always joke about Game of Thrones, and we'll always have some kind of joke, like our coffee now is black water, and our uh, drinks are now milk of the poppy. <laughs> That's morphine or opium? What? That's like, it's all a joke. Yeah. Like, we know what they are. We just like to title things. So whatever. It's just funny. We joke about it all the time. Like, it's always a fun thing for us to do. It's fun to bond and do this as a family. Right, yeah. We do see each other a lot anyways, but it, it's something different. So it is fun. I love the series. I have other family members who love the series. So it's really cool to kind of pull them in as well. And yes, they are really loving it too. It's very different, like Kim and said. It's very different. It's very different and very it scares different. the crud out of them. Well, like, it did me too. I'm no different. We're still human. Um, we're not boring. I don't say that because a lot of people sit and just watch, but we have crazy reactions. <laughs> this is what we do, <laughs> but we just have major compassion and we freak out. So, um, but we, we do know what's going on. Um, second time around is definitely better because then you really get to rewatch everything and understand what happened that you ran away from. Yeah, <laughs> but I discussed with them what they saw and what they didn't see so much. Yeah, it's really so we, we do know what's going on. Um, I, we discussed it before and after, and it always happens before the camera's rolling, but they know the sound of the camera. I get to like mute that or something, because <laughs> right when that comes on, it's like... <laughs> 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 what were you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. And so, yeah, so we are really enjoying it. But it's so much fun having all of you with us as well. Do you think your family's tolerance for gore and sexual stuff on TV has gotten stronger since they started watching? Absolutely. I totally think so. Um, um, I know they're still going to be running. We still react. Because I, you know, I don't watch a whole lot of TV series, but I do watch Walking Dead. And Game of Thrones, I, I always end up running away during scary stuff anyways, but I am a lot better than I was, but I still get so scared. So you are definitely doing a lot better. Not as extreme as uh, the beginning, but yeah, the extreme right. is well. the fun part. I love that. Yeah. And we've already seen it, and it's annoying when, you know, you, you miss part of it, but they had no intention of even watching this series, right. so it's kind of cool that I was able to bring them along for the ride, and they're actually really liking it. So again, I discuss things that they have missed, so they are, you know, up to date with everything. And it probably will be cool to do another series of reaction videos of them actually knowing what's going on. I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. But, or who knows? But, um, but yeah, so I think uh, for the most part, I think we'll end it there because it's getting way too dark. We appreciate you know, the mosquitoes are starting to get us. Huh? I haven't gotten any. You're a mother. You're awesome. Like you guys. Uh, I'm like, eh, 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 yeah, it's funny. Sure. Her and I always get them. So thank you for watching. We like to babble, yeah. and if this goes well, we might do more Q and A's. I don't even know if you can see us anymore. It's so dark in here. I don't want to put any lights on. Yeah, what the heck? We're talking. So um, like all right. Water. So have a wonderful night, and we will see you very soon. You'll see a couple more reaction videos up in a couple days, like every two days. Like I said, you'll, there's always a video up. So all right. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, bye. guys. We did great. Yay! Bye. 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 Bye.